In this video, you will learn four things that you can do right now that will get your man addicted to you. That's right, these powerful psychological tips will literally have him physically and chemically addicted to you. Then he will be thinking about you constantly and craving to be with you all the time. This stuff really works, so stay right here because we're starting right now. You probably already know that when you're falling in love, you are literally becoming addicted to another person. It's true, romantic love is very much a natural addiction because it causes your body to release a flood of feel-good neurotransmitters and endorphins just like those released by highly addictive drugs. They trigger the same euphoria and intensely pleasurable responses. And it feels amazing. New love feels like the best day of your life. It's exhilarating and emboldening and enlightening. You never want that feeling to end. And just like a drug high, your brain and body become addicted to your new love interest. Psychologists and behavioral scientists have studied addiction for decades and we've learned a lot about how addictions are formed. And here's the awesome news. I'm going to show you exactly how to use this information to make any guy addicted to you. And it's all based on controlling and manipulating those feel-good endorphins and neurotransmitters, which essentially gets him addicted to you. But there is one catch. These tips are powerful and effective for sure, but they aren't magical. In other words, these tips are not going to make an uninterested man suddenly addicted to you. But if he was attracted to you before, then these tips will certainly capture his interest again and make him want you like never before. So without further ado, here's number one. Number one, control his dopamine by always leaving him wanting more. The first step involves triggering a massive release of dopamine in the nucleus accumbens area of his brain. And when that happens, he will experience euphoria and intense pleasure, arousal, motivation, and happiness and that experience gets associated with you and then you become the source of these intensive and amazing feelings. So, how do you get his brain to release massive amounts of dopamine? Well, dopamine levels are highest or your brain gets flooded with dopamine when the combination of two things happen. The first is when you think about or anticipate a pleasurable experience like eating an amazing dessert or winning a jackpot or in the case of dating, when you think about a person that you really like. And secondly, dopamine spikes when you add uncertainty to anticipation. That means when there is a 50-50 chance that you will be able to have that pleasurable experience or see that person, dopamine levels skyrocket. I'll talk more about uncertainty in the second tip, but for now, let's focus on raising his anticipation by always leaving him wanting more. So, whether you're on a date with him, or on the phone with him, or texting him, you have to end those experiences early at least 90% of the time. It won't always be like that, but if you want him to become addicted to you, regardless of how much fun you're having or how connected you're feeling, you have to end your dates and conversations and experiences when they are at their highest. You must resist the urge to follow the date or experience or conversation through to its natural progression. You have to be the one who ends things on a high note. So just when things are going well, just when you're feeling the chemistry, just when you're wishing that this date would never end, yeah, that's when you have to say that you're getting tired or you have some place to be or some other excuse to end the evening. Trust me, this is super difficult to do, but it's also the most powerful. Number two, amp up the uncertainty. As I mentioned earlier, Dopamine levels are highest when you think about or anticipate spending time with your love interest, and secondly, when there is uncertainty about having that pleasurable experience or seeing that person. When there's uncertainty attached to having that desired experience, there's much greater expectation and a much larger dopamine production. That's when dopamine is flooding your brain more than any other time. It's knowing that maybe this experience will happen that is addictive like nothing else out there. This is exactly how casinos get people coming back. They provide the maybe. They provide that uncertainty combined with the possibility of winning an extremely high reward and getting that hit of dopamine. That keeps people hooked like a drug. So if you want him to be addicted to you, you're going to have to make him experience some uncertainty. And you do that by not committing to dates or calls or other obligations too far in advance. Instead of giving him a confirmed yes, you're going to be giving him a maybe. For example, here, let me show you. Hey, how's your weekend looking? Hey, I have a few errands to run, and I'm supposed to help my friend find a wedding dress on Saturday. Why? What's up? Well, I was hoping that we could go to dinner or do something on Friday or Saturday night. That sounds like fun. Can I let you know closer to the weekend? Call me on Friday morning, and maybe I can make it work. Okay, I'll call you on Friday morning. And just like that, 
You let him know that it sounds like fun and you're open to the plans, but you're not sure when you're going to be available. This is just enough uncertainty to spike his dopamine like crazy. Now, I know that some of you are thinking, no way, Antonio, if I don't accept his invitation, he's going to feel rejected and he probably won't ask again. Well, I understand that concern, but I promise you this. If he asks you out, that means that he wants to see you. And if you give him that maybe answer, he's going to want to see you more than he did before he asked you because that uncertainty adds to his anticipation and that spikes dopamine way up. I know it feels scary to do, but I promise saying maybe rather than yes is super powerful. Think about how you felt in the past when a man didn't confirm plans with you and left them vague. It makes you wonder more. It makes you think about it more and it makes you want it more. That's the power that uncertainty has over dopamine. Again, this is not something that you're going to be doing forever, but if the goal is to get him addicted to you, creating uncertainty works like magic. By the way, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and a relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy together. So hit subscribe, join our community, and make your love life the best part of your life. Okay, on to number three. Number three, be unpredictable and thoughtfully surprise him. People love thoughtful surprises. Think about how you feel when you get an unexpected gift or a bonus at work, or when you get an unexpected text or call from someone you like. It's a great feeling. It's much better than getting a gift you expected, right? Well, that's because of dopamine too. So to recreate that experience, I want you to sometimes surprise him with thoughtful texts of appreciation or little gifts. Now, if he's the one that's been initiating communications and texting most of the time, surprise him every now and then by starting with a complimentary text. Just make sure it isn't all the time and make it unpredictable. And the second part of being unpredictable also spikes his dopamine through uncertainty. For that to happen, I want you to vary the timing of your responses to his communications and texts. This is based on the concept of variable interval reinforcement schedule. In psychology, a variable interval reinforcement schedule is the most powerful operant conditioning tool used to shape behavior and learning. It's so powerful because of its effects on dopamine. So basically, I want you to be unpredictable with your texting response timing. When he texts you, sometimes you'll respond within seconds, sometimes within minutes, sometimes within hours, and sometimes you might even forget to respond. And when you do that, he's going to keep checking his phone to see if you responded. And that means that he's also going to be thinking about you. And when you do respond, he's going to be excited to read it and he's going to get that hit of dopamine as part of that reward. And that just reinforces his behavior and motivation for you even more. And don't think for a minute that he's going to lose interest. That's fear talking. If you vary your response time, he will only be more interested and excited. Think about what happens when you are interested in a guy and you text him and sometimes he responds right away. Sometimes it takes him 30 minutes and sometimes it takes him hours. When he doesn't respond right away, what does it do to you? Well, if you like him, you're probably wondering, what's he doing? Is he busy? Is he working? Is he away from his phone? Did he forget about me? We've all been there. It makes you think about him more. It makes you check your phone more and think about what he's doing. It makes you anticipate when he's going to text and that is controlling his dopamine. So vary the rate in which you respond and try to make it as random as possible. Again, sometimes you respond immediately, sometimes within minutes, sometimes within hours. And yes, sometimes I want you to forget to respond, especially if he didn't ask a question. Number four, have no expectations. I know it's difficult to not think about the future when you really like someone. At the same time, it's important to tame your expectations before you've really gotten to know someone. So take any expectations out of your mind because when you make something a goal, two things happen. First, you start planning and living in the future and you constantly measure your progress towards that goal. And secondly, when you start thinking of this new person as the one, you start daydreaming and romanticizing a relationship that doesn't even exist yet. And guess what you're also doing? you're spiking your own dopamine levels through anticipation and uncertainty. And that's when you're becoming addicted to him. So instead of being able to be present and engaged in this moment, you're stuck in a future where you're assuming so much. You're daydreaming and fantasizing of all the amazing times that you will share. That causes you to elevate the importance of this relationship a great deal. And when you put too much into this outcome, you become too invested in a future that you can't control. And that causes anxiety. And when that happens, any insecurities that you may have about the relationship, about dating that person, manifest in your interactions with him. And guess what happens? He feels it, he notices those insecurities and that makes you seem less attractive. Okay, so I have a favor to ask. Will you do me a quick favor? 
See, I often get a lot of pushback in the comments section because following these tips feels unnatural or manipulative. So I really wanna know, are these tips unreasonable? Do you think that you would be able to do them? I mean, I know that they work and they work very well, but how many of you would feel uncomfortable doing them? Please leave a comment below and let's talk about this. I really want to understand your thoughts on these issues, so I'm going to be responding to all of your comments. I'll see you in the next video.